Giving grounds were made against the finance minister by the minority in its essential motion. But when he appears before the ad hoc committee on Friday, the minister was asked to respond to five grounds as to two were struck out by the committee after further deliberations. In Ken Ferrata's opening remarks, he acknowledges that there is hardship in the country and he feels it personally, professionally and in his soul and that he is sorry. I acknowledge our economy is facing difficulties and the people of Ghana are enduring hardships. I see and feel the terrible impact of rising prices of goods and services on the lives and livelihoods of ordinary Ghanaians. I feel the stress of running a business, but it is the strength and perseverance of the Ghanaian people that inspire me and my colleagues in government every morning. I am truly sorry. He also described as unfortunate and untrue the claim that he deliberately and dishonestly misreported economic data to parliament as well as his mishandling of the economy which they claimed led to the crash of the city. I have served the country with integrity and honesty. As leader by the Minister of Finance, there have been significant improvements in the accurate reporting of public finances have not been reckless in the management of the fiscal operations of government. Rather, our strenuous efforts to protect the public purse is what has helped this government to have achieved much, much more than any government ever over a similar period in virtually all sectors. The finance minister also indicated that under his tenure, great strides have been made to improve the economy and added that the city depreciation is not due to mismanagement but as a result of global crisis. Untold and unprecedented hardship. What we are experiencing in Ghana is not the outcome of mismanagement. I've already discussed the domestic triggers behind the depreciating city. We simply cannot overlook the significant impact of the delayed passage of the revenue measures outlined in the 2022 budget, which resulted in negative market reactions, creating downgrades, the narrowing of financing sources, and the eventual depreciation of the city. The minister concluded his submissions by asking Ghanaians to rise above witch hunting and entrapment. As to what that means, only the finance minister can explain. Evelyn Tinkma, TV3 News, Parliament House.